everyone welcome back to another episode here on the channel if you missed out on last episode well uh guess what we went to Kaskarafa and we were able to take down kofu easily one of my favorite new gym leaders from uh from this game he's a pretty cool quirky little character to say the least but kofu has been taken down he did a great pose for the badge photo and now what we get to do is we get to make our way over to Madali. Um, so Madali is going to have the normal type gym leader, which is who we're going to take down today. I do not know their name as I have not fought them yet. And uh, to be honest, don't remember a lot of these people's names. Uh, Team Star members, I've, I've happened to remember pretty well, but uh, these other people, not really sticking. Uh, if you did not notice, we also made a little bit of an adjustment to the team at the very end of last episode. A uh, little bit of an odd call, but I decided, hey, you know what? We got to take Quagsire or actually Clodsire off because we don't really use Clodsire that much. Uh, really not at all. And we put on Great Tusk because after defeating Kofu, we actually got Terra Blast, which allows us to take the poison type um, Terra Arctabax. And uh, we actually get the chance to use the uh, Terra Blast once it terrestrializes into a poison type. So if we absolutely need a poison type, we can always terrestrialize and use that. Clodsire was kind of just sitting around not doing much. So uh, yeah, beware of strong Pokemon. So yeah, we went ahead and took Clodsire off, put Great Tusk on, and then added uh, the Watchmaduzi to that. So yeah, pretty good all in all. Uh, I do want to go ahead and fight that Chansey, get us a little bit of XP. Why not? And I guess we can fight these Hariyamas as well. But if you do find yourself enjoying today's episode, make sure to like this video. If you do want to stick around for all kinds of fun and excitement when it comes to Pokemon Scarlet and this playthrough, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get on into it. All right, so a bunch of Tauros. I'm, I'm sure if I sent out Pimienta that that whole little like area right there is just chock full of XP for us. And I ran right into a Flappy. So uh, we're going to get none of that XP, which is pretty sick. All right, let's go ahead and run from this. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited because just looking at the map, episode after this. I didn't realize we could get that this early on. I don't know why, but I thought it had to be later. Anyways, it looks like the episode after this will be taking on... Um, if I did it the way that I want to do it, I think the episode after this, I want to go after this next Titan. And then after going after this next Titan, we can go after another star and then two gyms, star, Titan, star, and we'll be done. So yeah, we, we're we really, we're kind of approaching the end of this game a little bit faster than I could anticipate, really. Uh, but it's, it's pretty sick. And there's, of course, a lot more to do this game as well. Um, but yeah, did not expect that we could actually get that, uh, that new Tauros sooner rather than later. That's pretty cool. We'll have to get that fire Tauros, uh, eventually. But, is there anything cool down in this lake? Probably not. The more Don fan and fan fee. Huh, but there is a trainer. So we do get to beat up on this trainer and then go see if there's any cool Pokemon out that way. Uh, who knows? Maybe they will be. Okay, so another one of these posts, this time yellow. Um, that's interesting. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Yes. Yes, I will pull out the stake. You pulled it out, it crumbled. Yeah, I'm assuming it did because all of the other ones did. Hey, there's a gimme ghoul though. So it makes it all worth it. Any cool Pokemon, Basculin. Um, Dreadnought. Yeah, I think I've caught literally all of those Pokemon before. Garchomp. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's make it our way across this bridge. Nothing cool. No shinies to speak of, unfortunately. Um, I can't wait to see all the shinies I've missed. Hey, this is one of the new Pokemon. I don't remember what it's called, but it looks like a sushi. To disguise itself? Question mark? Tatsugiri. Let's go ahead and throw a great ball at it to catch this Tatsugiri. Or see if we can. It'd be kind of cool if just right off the bat we could. I have not checked the Pokemon Center in a little bit, and we've gotten quite a few more badges. It knows Muddy Water. Yeah, that's going to hurt. 
Uh, that's gonna hurt a lot, homeboy. Uh, yeah, we've we've now gotten to a point in the game. Oh, I thought that was gonna catch. Where Pokemon are starting to catch up to my level, which is interesting, considering that the gym leaders and things haven't caught up to my level. So I'm just gonna keep catching more and more high level pokemon and getting more and more xp for my dudes so yeah that'll be interesting hey we got that guy up to uh wants to learn stealth rock stealth rock's not bad um smackdown salt cure i don't want to keep salt cure for water and steel types uh we can take care of rock throw yeah we can take care of rock throw and put stealth rocks there we'll we'll kind of we'll figure out how this this dude works that's who geary mimicry oh stretchy form that's right there is a i think there's three forms of tattoo geary there's like yellow red and orange there's definitely that red one right there what a cool little pokemon i'm excited to get that one shiny if we oh morton's evolving i didn't know he evolved at 38 i guess it's a three stage You know, this is one of the few Pokemon that I hadn't actually seen yet. Garganackle? I don't know how I feel about this. Garganackle. It's a rock type. Hammer arm. Hammer arm. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know, I, we're not going to learn hammer arm. I don't know how I feel about Gargle Knackle. Oh, hey, I do feel pretty cool about this Tatsugiri, though. That I, that's something I can say for sure. I like how it is literally just a sushi sushi Pokemon. Um, I, let's let's throw a quick ball. Let's just see if I can get a quick ball off on this thing. I'm hoping so. That'd be really cool. That was a critical. I got a critical capture on it. That's awesome. That's cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Gargle Knackle on the team. Morton's been pretty cool, but yeah, I don't know if that's it. I uh, I don't I don't know if I don't know if Morton's gonna be staying on for long. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what I would replace it with quite yet, but we'll see. Okay, so um yeah yeah i happened to yeah so we're we're at the part of the game now uh we're about to be in medali where zoroa and ditto can pop out and i just so happened to throw this at what i thought was a breloom and then it was like nah fam uh i'm actually a zoroa so that's that's kind of cool at least let's go ahead and bite i don't think i mean it's not super effective and i'm not a physical attacker so that's gonna be okay knock off that that hurt a little bit more than i like uh oh it was a crit that's that's not bad all right let's go ahead and throw another pokeball um yeah yeah i would really like a ditto so that way i can start breeding um because the ditto that you saw from a couple of videos ago that was one of my friends dittos because i was like ah, i'm not far enough in the game yet i don't want to keep it here take it back uh i would really like to find a ditto the zoro is pretty cool too just for the dex entry I would love for this thing to just stay in. Let me use a, a great ball on it. Uh, yeah, but we'll get a ditto and then we'll then we'll make it to the gym, probably. So we've made it to the normal type gym and Shock is here for some reason. Hello, hello, Todd. How does your treasure hunt? Uh, figured out what you're hunting for yet? Sure have. Shiny Pokemon. That's great. Look, you knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here to make sure you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Oh, we got a lucky egg. That is going to be handy for my treasure hunt. I hope you'll keep working on that Pokedex of yours too, since I did make that app after all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Yeah, uh, that's fine, buddy. Sure. All right, let's talk to the staffer. Welcome to the Medali Gym. Thank you. Let me register as your challenger. Your name is Todd. Yes, correct. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Larry, you'll first need to pass the gym test. 
here at Medali Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically a menu item at the Treasure Eatery, a much-loved restaurant here in Medali. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other challengers around town attempting this gym test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that will help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. Your goal is to gather clues and use them to determine the secret dish, then order it from the waiter at the treasury eatery. Only the challenger is able to correctly order will pass the test. Your clue is to find out how the regular season their dishes. I'd suggest you start by hearing what a regular at the treasurer eatery has to say. Alright. Um. Interesting. So I have to find this treasure eatery. And then after finding this treasure eatery, I have to then... Okay, so it's literally just right there. Oh, wow. This literally has all of the sandwich shops right next to each other. That's actually pretty awesome. So, okay. This is interesting. So let's, uh, let's find out what, what locals how they season their dishes and then i guess we have to find the other well that's unfortunate let's we'll load it back up and see okay so once you actually get into the treasure eatery you just kind of start the gym test um by talking to this person oh wow omelet medium serving I want it extra crispy fire blast style and I want lemon on it. Did I just guess my, there's no way. Dang, that's unfortunate. Okay. I heard it said that there's some kind of amazing gimmick in the treasure eatery. Yeah. Well, who's a regular? Huh, a secret menu item. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Huh. Oh, yes, I suppose I do come here often. You must be a gym test challenger. Here's a tip for you. A nice squeeze of lemon gives any dish a refreshing kick. So I got the lemon part right. Um, I think that's Larry. Just based off of the photo, I think that's Larry. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to talk to this nice person. All right, they'll take the order up front. Okay, I guess I just can't talk to these people. So lemon is part of the answer. Um, okay, Oink alone is just chilling. Yeah, this is this is getting weird. There's a lot of people eating here though, so this place gotta be bumping. Um, this is where you change your Terra type. All right, let's go find the other people that are around the city. Uh, but lemon, lemon is one of the important answers, so that's good to know. Okay, so we just defeated this schoolgirl, and she said the odd one out at the ice cream stand. And when you go to the ice cream stand, you have these six ice creams, but then you have grilled rice balls. So lemon and rice balls. That's what we're at so far. Now we just have to find more trainers and beat them. All right, so that guy says, uh, listen to the blue bird, which is definitely the squawkabilly. Uh, Takabilly, Takabilly. Uh, can you tell me what I need to see? No think, no think. What is it? Medium. All right, so medium size rice balls and lemon. Medium size rice balls, lemon. Medium size rice ball, lemon. Now let's see. Where's the final trainer? This is a cool little amphitheater, though. Uh... That's no longer cool. That's just creepy. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so this one says a dark spot surrounded by stairs, which is literally right here. Okay. Fire blast. So I had... I swear to you, I did not do anything any looking to see what the order would be and you're telling me i was one ingredient off just by guessing just by guessing what was i off on 
I already forgot what that dark spot was. I already forgot what the dark spot was. Um, so it's grilled rice balls. That's what I was off on. Medium serving. Fire blast was the dark spot. And then lemon. So I clicked medium serving grilled rice balls, fire blast style with fresh lemon on the side. That's the secret menu item. What was the rumble? Where did all those people go? What? Hey, I passed the gym test. That's cool. Um, I'm ready to battle. So let's just get it going. I can't believe if I didn't click omelet and I just mashed A on accident, I would have, I would have just done it. Do you want to face the exceptional everyday man himself, gym leader Larry? Sure, in that case, please head on to the battle court. Larry, you're up. Yeah, it's that guy. I figured from the photo. I haven't actually seen this dude yet. Wow, he is just an everyday man. I'm Larry, I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of Medali Gym. Good job of making your way through the gym test and well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometimes. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. That's insane. As someone who works in corporate America. That's funny. That's funny. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. He really looks stressed, man. All right, let's get it, Larry. Komala. Isn't Kamala like actually the Pokemon is the log or something crazy like that? I just say it, so let's not go too hard. Okay, okay Larry, dude, I'm gonna smack you. Uh, Comatose. It's drowsing. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and Torch Song. I don't know why I don't just Terrasilize from turn one. I'm gonna Terrasilize next turn just, just to get it over with because I'm gonna have at least a two times special attack bonus. So Kamala's down. What's a normal type of oh, Dunsparce? The disappointment of a Dunsparce evolution. Dunsparce. And that's two segment. Or is that three segment? That might be three segment form. That's. I don't know. I think that's technically three segment form. I don't know. What a dumb Pokemon. We're sitting here for 20 years waiting for Dunsparce to evolve and we get Dunsparce. I can't believe the Pokemon company really mean on us. That's got to be three segment form. I'm looking at three segments. All right, Torch Song. It's probably not going to knock it. It knocked it. Okay, awesome. Uh, two times special effective. Or two times special attack boost, I should say. Not special effective. Staraptor is a... Oh, it's not normal type. It's flying fighting, right? I actually, yeah, because it's going to intimidate, which doesn't matter because I don't play by those rules. It's normal flying. Why did I think it was flying fighting? That's Halucha. That's weird. That just, you're pretty good. I'm end up lo losing this. That just points even further to the fact that this guy is useless. Come on, Larry, step it up a notch. Is that the boss? We've got hungry customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for you here. Oh, she's really nice and supportive. That's cool. Wow, everyone's rushing in to watch. That's wild. We get a mid-battle cutscene. Show us what you got, Larry, and you too, kid. I'm already terrestrialized, though. Well, you heard the good folks. I suppose I can put on a bit more of a show. Wow, he got a little limber there. That was wild. All right, terrestrialization. Dude, his hair is flowing. It's weird that it's... Yeah, sure enough, it terrestrializes into a normal form. That's weird that his Terra Pokemon isn't a different one that then becomes it. And I'm not going to be able to listen to this song very long again. Gosh, man, I like this song. Just let me listen to it. All right, Straptor goes down. Larry has been defeated. Which is definitely interesting. Uh, yeah. Larry has gone down. 
Nice. He certainly threw me for a loop. All right, six and a half K for prize money. That's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible, I guess. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face even. I lost, that means I have to give you a badge, but... Oh, he's hungry. That battle made me a bit hungry. Kara, join me for a meal? Oh, click the wrong button. Yo, those rice jelly cakes look amazing. Hey, we beat Larry. Having six Pokemon or six gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50. Oh, and they'll actually listen to you too. Thanks, Larry. Oh, and he, uh, he paid for our meal. This is for you. Though hopefully a child like you has no need to put this on his namesake. Facade. Wow, the dishes here, they've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary after all. Now I'd better get back to work if you'd excuse me. This dude's just sad. Like, he's just a sad individual. It did mention something about the uh, the terror typing, though. Hey, look at that. It's the head of uh, Slytherin. Uh, I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you sent out Skeledrag before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, that flurry of attacks. What an efficient way to corner your opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. Ah, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem, in summary... I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one thing, don't let your studies fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. Yeah, I should probably do some of the classes at the Academy, to say the least. Nice! I don't know why it wants me to talk to the waiter. I guess it just didn't. I didn't do it last time before we end out though i do want to go check out um the treasure eatery one more time because it mentioned of course the the terrestrialization change which is kind of interesting i wonder how that's gonna work yeah and they're all magically back want to change the pokemon stereotype hey it's you the student to be larry that was some fine battling you're something, kid. I'll let you on a special dish I only make for my favorite customers. One that changes the Pokemon's terror type. I just need some special ingredients called terror shards. Whenever you got your mitts on them, come let me know. Since you're a first time, we'll give you enough to change Pokemon's terror type to normal. Okay. Uh, I'm not looking to feed it to anything, ma'am. Uh, wow. Okay. So yeah, you just bring terror shards here. And then you can just change the terror type of whatever Pokemon you want. That's pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to stick around for all of the other Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news. Uh, we went ahead and got ourselves a Ditto, so we'll be doing some kind of uh, breeding at some point. Of course, I am going to be waiting for the Masuda method. I do want to get a Masuda Ditto. Um, so hopefully joining some kind of Discord somewhere to get a Masuda Ditto. Um, not only not even necessarily a six star one But just kind of a Masuda ditto, um, you know, I am playing this game before the holiday season So there's gonna be a lot of kids that are getting uh, this game uh, I'm assuming during the holidays. So it'd be kind of cool to be able to just say hey Here's a bunch of surprise trades that I can kick out to a whole bunch of different people um, you know within the, the couple of days where uh where the holidays are running through um you know various different holidays so there's a bunch of different days that i can send out a lot of pokemon and in return i might even get a pokemon back that uh that has a one in a million badge i think is what it's called that you can get from surprise trading which is uh pretty cool uh but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and oh that's not even a pineco never mind that's a zoroa that's a little disappointing because I actually need a pine co. But if you did enjoy, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hey, guess what? I'll see you in the next one.